Hello students of Sydney City Schools and parents. I am Christine Jesse. I am the classroom technology coach from Vartech to here to help out Sydney City as we venture into Schoology. I am using a Chromebook today to show you how students can log into their accounts using their Chromebooks and save that website so that way it's only a one click type of login instead of having to go through multiple sites to get there. I'm also going to show you how to create and use a parent account. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take students into Google Chrome and we are going to go to the Sydney City Schools homepage. All students should have this little folder that says Sydney School Sites and all their little sites that are going to be there will be in here. Down here through the quick links we're going to go to Student Login. We're going to log in as a student here. If the login doesn't work the first time, please try again or clear browsing data. It may take a minute for it to actually log in. So here's my course dashboard. And now that I'm in here, I want to save this as my Schoology account. So the best place to put that is down here in our shelf. This is called a shelf on Google Chrome. So I'm going to go up here to these three little dots where it says customize and control Google Chrome. And I'm going to go down to this one that says more tools. When I hover over it, it opens this box over here. And I'm going to create a shortcut. Now I have the shortcut down here. And so if I close this, without logging out, and I click it again, it puts me right back into my course dashboard. So now your student is able to log in and save it onto their Chromebook. For the parent account, we are going to first go to Schoology.com. We are doing this because we need to have all parents create their own account. The way they sign in is going to be very different from how our students sign in. So we're going to go over here to sign up as a parent. And we're going to type in our access code. Your access code is a 12 digit number that's, uh, well, not really a number. It's a mix of letters and numbers. And when you put this in and click continue, it's going to ask you now to create an account for Schoology. This is specifically a parent account, so you can go in and check on your student's work and what how they did on assignments within Schoology. Please be sure to still use PowerSchool to check their grades. So first name, last name. So we're going to go student of, oops, not student, parent of student at gmail.com, create a password that is secure, you can choose whether or not to subscribe to the Schoology Exchange blog, but you do need to click this. In order to make sure that you are registered, you need to make sure you know the privacy policy and the terms of use. We're going to click register. And this is now our account. Okay. And Schoology is very nice and they kind of walk you through some things. They tell you about the homepage for the parents and they even give you a nice little parent guide. It'll walk you through the different things and how you can add more children and you can link paired accounts. So you can have as many accounts for that particular student, depending on how many parents or guardians need to have availability to the student's account. There's also a help center down here, and it has many, many articles that will help guide you through anything that you are stuck on. Okay, so once we are in here, we can go and view things as our student. So now while I can't click on other students, I can see what my student sees. So this is my student's activity. I can also see the enrollments, what other courses my students are involved in. 
I can see what they have upcoming as far as grades, if there's anything late, and what type of attendance is happening. I can also see their courses and their groups. So I'm gonna go up here to courses. And I'm gonna go see how she's doing in this practice course. Okay, so I see here when it says admin, this is their teacher. So Christine Jesse is her teacher. She has two assignments that are gonna be due on Friday, September 11th. And if I wanna see those assignments, I can go in here. So I can click on the assignment. And I can see the assignment. I can see the directions. If I click on the document, I can see the document. Now we are only viewing this as a student. We can't actually submit this ourselves. You wouldn't want us to do your own student's work anyway. Once an assignment has been submitted and the teacher grades it, the grade will pop up over here on the right hand side. Oops, wrong one. So I'm going to go back here as my parent of student. As the parent, you can. Yep, we already went through that. Thank you. As the parent, you can message your child. You can also message your child's teachers. When you want to message them, click on new message. And then type in the name of the person who you want to send the message to. You can also view the student's calendar and all the work that they have through this calendar. You also have your profile where you can adjust your profile picture and you can write a short biography, add some activities. You also have some settings, including alternative emails to log in with. You can change various things, including enable a calendar share, so that way you can link your calendar, say, with your own personal calendar. You can also adjust what kind of notifications you get and get notifications sent to your phone. I highly suggest bookmarking this so that way you're able to quickly log in and being able to see what your students are doing within Schoology. So this has been a quick guide to logging in as a parent and as a student and seeing what both offer. I hope you enjoyed this video and 